This will be a quick video to show you how to make your FreeBSD based systems real tech neck stable or even functional in the case of a 2.5 gig neck. If you've recently built any FreeBSD based system with significant network load, um, for example, PFSense, OpenSense, or FreeNAS or TrueNAS machine, you've probably been cautioned against using real tech necks. Now, they may not be as highly regarded in the enterprise space as Intel, Chelsea, or Mellanox necks. Uh, this notion is actually a result of the drivers that FreeBSD packages in the kernel, rather than the actual NIC itself. So the maintainers of FreeBSD don't really concern themselves with keeping up with drivers in the slightest, and they will probably be angry with you if you question that. NetGate does not touch drivers either for PFSense, and they just shrug it off and point upstream, and that's probably because they package things with Intel NICs anyway, and they don't care uh, if it works for you or not. So to help with this, I have compiled 64-bit versions of the latest Realtek driver for several FreeBSD versions. The Realtek driver version is 1.96.04, with support for the RTL 8125B, which is Realtek's newest 2.5 gig NIC that is found in devices like the Odroid H2+, Plus, which is a nice, compact PFSense machine. It also resolves the stability issues with just about every other recent Realtek NIC, which generally manifest themselves as unrelenting watchdog timeouts under load that result in the interface restarting. We're going to install the kernel module on a PFSense machine via the shell, so you'll be able to easily apply this to other FreeBSD-based systems as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download this to our system. We're going to use fetch because that's baked in. So we'll go ahead and fetch, output to realtech.zip, and slap the link in, that'll be in the description. When that's done, we'll unzip realtech.zip. There we go. Let's go ahead and check our uh, Realtek driver folder, see what we got here. So, there is a folder for each version of FreeBSD that you may be operating on. If you are unsure what version you have, uh, you can actually make certain by typing uname rs. Oh, there you go. So I'm on FreeBSD 12.2 on this 2.5.0 development version. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and copy the proper version over. 12.2, 1.96.04 is the current version we want. And we're going to copy the if re ko kernel module over to boot kernel. Okay, that's there. So now we have to go ahead and change the permissions of that file. We're going to chown root wheel boot kernel if read at go. We're going to chmod 0555 boot kernel if read at go. And then we're going to go ahead and edit the bootloader conf. Now we're going to use a bootloader conf that local, which in FreeBSD, that is a secondary file that is essentially identical to the bootloader conf. Bootloader conf is meant to be distributed, whereas the local is for edits on that current machine. There is some contention as to whether or not the .conf is overwritten on updates and the local is not. Uh, the official statement, I believe, is that neither are overwritten. But we're going to use the lo .conf .local just for the varied settings. Since both are loaded, you don't have to actually copy over anything that's in the original conf. Okay, we have if reload yes, and we are going to save that. I noticed that I used nano. Nano is probably the easiest quick and dirty editor if you're unfamiliar with uh, Unix editors in the command line. Uh, that can simply be installed with package install nano, like so. Otherwise, you'll have to use uh, something like Vi or X, which are both a little clunky if you haven't used them before. Now that that's in, we're going to go ahead and load the module with KLD load if underscore read at co. And mine is already loaded, but if it was not already loaded, you would get no output if it was successfully loaded. You only get output from KLD load is unsuccessful. Double check that it's loaded uh, if you don't want to take my word for it with the KLD stat. And there you go, if read at co. You can go ahead and reboot to make sure that it's loaded on boot via your bootloader conf edit. And then uh, your machine will no longer have instability with real technic usage. Verifying with a couple of load tests if you need to on your 
playing or when, Nick, or maybe it's just your incoming for your free NAS machine. But your two and a half gig NIC will function. Your one gig NIC won't drop constantly. And you will have a usable real tech NIC under PFSense, OpenSense, free NAS, true NAS, whatever it is. Even though you were cautioned against it and you didn't listen.